Praise the Lord, this is Dr. C. Dexter Wise III, and welcome back to our mini-series, How to Go from Empty to Overflow, based on Psalm 23, verse 5. And I don't know about you, but there's been a lot of stuff flowing out of David's cup. We've said from the beginning that, first of all, if you want to go from empty to overflow, you got to have a cup. And then not only do you have to have a cup, you have to say it's my cup, personalize the cup. From then, take the lid off, make sure it's nothing covering it and keeping God's anointing from flowing into it. After that, empty the cup and then turn your cup right side up. Last time we were together, we said you got to fix the leaks because a lot of us have cracks in our cups and because of the cracks, we're having God's anointing and God's power leaking out of our life. Here's another thing. Position your cup under the flow. Lord have mercy. Position your cup under the flow. Back in the day when you went to a fast food restaurant, if you ordered a drink, they would uh, fill the cup up and hand you a cup with the drink in it, ice, lid, straw, and all. Nowadays, you order a drink, here's what they do. They give you an empty cup and then they point you to the fountain and say pretty much you're on your own. So if you wanna fill your cup, first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to the fountain. You got to find the fountain where the anointing is flowing. And then after you find the fountain, you got to choose. There's a bunch of things you can choose from. You can have grape, you can have iced tea, you can have Fanta, you can have a Sprite, you can have Coke. There are a lot of things you can choose from, but you gotta make up your mind and pick the kind of thing you want to fill your cup with. There are a lot of things out there that want to fill your cup, but you got to decide what you want in your cup. And then here's the thing. You've got to put your cup underneath where the flowing is taking place. You got to put your cup underneath the place where what you want to be filled with is flowing. So you got to position your cup. And many times we are out of position. It's not that the flow of God is not coming. We're just not in position underneath where the flow is coming. And then the last thing you got to do, you got to push the button. You got to hold that button until your cup is full. Hold it until the cup is overflowing. Now, here's the thing. You're not going to get things like it used to be in the day, back in the day where everything is handed to you full. You got to take your empty cup and put it in position underneath the outpouring of the Holy Spirit so that you get everything that God has to give. And so here's your tip for today. If you wanna go from empty to overflow, position your cup underneath the outflowing of God's Spirit.